video, we're going to be learning how to use Edison to record audio for your projects and place it in your playlist. To begin, you need to select an input for the track that you want to record to your Edison. In this case, it's track 1. My microphone is plugged into the first input of my audio interface, which is a Focusrite Scarlett as you can see here. So I'm going to select the first input. Once you set your microphone gain setting where you want it to be, we can move to the next step. Open Edison using the inserts on your mixer track. Now we're ready to set our parameters for recording. Before you record, it's handy to know that there are different rules you can set for recording, as we can see here. Selecting the Now option will start the recording as soon as you press the record button. On input, we'll start the recording as soon as the input is detected in the microphone after you press the record button. I use this method to record these scripts for my tutorials, as I don't need to synchronise it to anything in the playlist, and I don't need a metronome. Input will do the same, however it won't record continuously. It will only record when an input is detected, and then pause until another input is detected. On play, we'll only start the recording once the play button is pressed in your playlist. This is usually what I use for recording vocals or instruments, as it's perfect for aligning recorded material with your project and you'll be able to hear whatever it is in your playlist whilst you're recording. So before you start recording, make sure you set the time that you want it to record for. The default is set to 5 minutes. Now if you're just recording a verse or vocal line, 5 minutes should be enough, but if you plan on looping a section of your track and recording multiple takes, it might be worth changing this. I usually put mine to infinity by hovering over the number and scrolling all the way down until it displays this line. Now just before we record, if you're recording, say, a verse for a song, you'll want to select the part of your song in the playlist that you want to record the verse over. Hold right click and drag the area of your playlist you want to select. Also, you'll want to give yourself at least a one bar head start, so make sure your selection includes that. For example here, I've given myself a one bar head start before the section I want my recording to be in. So now you're ready to record, it's as simple as pressing the record button. If you've selected the on play method like I have here, we will have to press play in the playlist to start the recording, which I will do now. This is a test recording, how to record audio in Edison. Press stop to end the recording. Now, you will most likely be recording a verse, vocal line or instrument, in which case you will want to send it to the playlist to place into your production. To do this, with Edison open and your audio selected, you can hold Shift and press C to send it to the selected area of your playlist. There is also a dedicated button here in Edison to do this. When you send it to your playlist, it will create an audio clip in your pattern sequencer with the audio you have just recorded. Now, this is not the only way to record audio to your project. You can simply use the playlist record button, provided it is set to record audio, as you can see here by right clicking on the playlist record button, and this will do the very same thing. This is a test recording. There is a good reason that I use Edison instead. Although my method will increase the file size of your project significantly, it makes it so that the audio you send to your playlist is stored in your FLP project and can never be lost due to missing files. You will always be able to access it via Edison within your saved project. Awesome! So now you know how to record and send audio to your playlist, have a look at my next video where I'll be teaching you how to use Edison to clean up your audio clips and remove room noise. Bye.